If you're interested in investing in dividend stocks, one of the key numbers is the dividend payout ratio. This number essentially tells you what percentage of the company's earnings are distributed to shareholders in the form of dividends. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know about the dividend payout ratio, why it matters, how you can calculate it. And also, if you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a way in which you can automatically calculate it from your Excel or Google Sheets spreadsheet. Okay, so to start off, we're going to talk about what the dividend payout ratio is. And then later on, we're going to talk about why the dividend payout ratio is an important metric to keep in mind when analyzing dividend stocks. To start off, as we mentioned before, the dividend payout ratio is the portion of the company's net income that is paid to shareholders in the form of dividends. Therefore, the dividend payout ratio formula is the amount of dividends paid that a company made given a different period of time divided by the net income reported during that period of time. Another way that you could also calculate this ratio is by taking the dividends per share paid by the company and then dividing that number by the earnings per share of the company. So let me show you an example of calculating the dividend payout ratio for Apple. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to write the ticker of the company. And then what we need is two main numbers. So we need the net income and the dividends paid so we could put them into the formula and calculate the payout ratio. So the way we're going to do this, um, again, there's different ways in which you can do it. You could just copy paste the data from a site like Yahoo Finance. However, in this case, what we're going to do, which is better and we recommend it is to use Y sheets. So in this case, we're going to use a Y's function, enter the ticker, the parameters, and then the period. So the period that we're going to enter is 2021. And if you want to know how to use Y sheets, we have entire tutorials on how to be able to use this tool to get all the stock data that you need on your Excel spreadsheet. As you can see with Y sheets, you get the two numbers and now all that you need to do is put it into the formula. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dividends paid and we're going to turn this into a negative. So that way the number becomes positive. The reason why the number is negative right now is because dividends paid is actually a cash outflow. So that's why it's being returned as a dividend. But don't worry, you can turn it into a positive just by adding the negative sign. And then you divide it by the net income. And what's going to happen is that you're going to get the ratio. Um, you just have to keep in mind, you can put this into a percentage format. So that way you can see it in this way. And the cool thing is that if you want to calculate this for another company, you can just change the company ticker. And as you can see, the data will be returned and you will be able to calculate the payout ratio for that other company as well. As I mentioned before, you can get the same number, the same dividend payout ratio number by substituting the net income by the earnings per share of the company, as well as the dividends paid per share by the company. Now let's talk about why the dividend payout ratio matters. The reason why this number matters is because as you can imagine, if I create a column here called net income left as a percentage, the dividend payout ratio tells you what percentage of the net income the company is spending on dividends. If I take this number, if I do one minus this, this tells me what percentage of the company's net income the company has available to be able to reinvest back into the company. So the more you can reinvest back into the company, assuming that you can do it at an effective rate, it means that you can expect more growth for that company. So perhaps like in this case, Apple, it's paying less dividends than other companies that might be paying 50%, 80% of their net income as dividends. But as you see over time for Apple, the company has had a lot of growth because it's being able to reinvest its net income effectively. Therefore, when a company has a low dividend payout ratio, generally this means that you can expect more growth from the company and hopefully that also translates to more growth in the stock price. And also that the dividend is more sustainable because if for some reason, let's say Apple's profits fall by 10%. In that case, 
Uh, the company is only paying 15.28% of the profits as dividends, so it can still pay its dividends to shareholders without an issue versus a company that's already paying 90, 80% of its profits as dividends, it will have a much harder time being able to keep up those payments uh, to the shareholders. This number also helps you to assess whether or not there's room for the company to grow its dividends. So in this case for Apple right now, they're paying 15.28%. Of course, if they really wanted, they could move it up to 20% and I'll have any major issues. So it helps as a useful indicator for the potential for the company to increase its dividends to shareholders. An important thing to keep in mind when calculating the dividend payout ratio is that it really depends on the period of time that you're analyzing. So in this case, as you can see by the formula, we're only looking at 2021. If we want, what you could do is you can change it to another year. And as you can imagine, the dividend payout ratio will be different. So as you can see before, it seems like it was a lot higher for the year 2020. And of course, this can also be done on a quarterly basis. So if I go back to 2021 and I do Q1. then this will also return a completely different number. If you're looking to compare the dividend payout ratio across multiple companies, because they all have different fiscal years, what I recommend is that you do TTM. So TTM is the trailing 12 months. So if you enter TTM here, What's essentially going to happen is that it's going to calculate the net income for the past four quarters. So that's going to be your net income. And then for the dividend paid, it's going to sum the last four quarters of the dividend paid. And then that will also tell you the payout ratio as well. As a bonus, what I want to show you is how you can get the dividend payout ratio for any company you like automatically without having to do any of these formulas. So the way you do this is very simple. What I'm going to do is get rid of this, copy paste this right here. So that way it's the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to change these numbers to 2021. So you see the original numbers that we had. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this and I'm going to use the wise formula again. So wise, we're going to get Apple. The parameter in this case is going to be the payout ratio and we're going to enter 2021. And as you can see, you get the exact same number except in one formula. So this is a lot more simple to do. And if you change the company ticker again to like Microsoft or you could do any other company, there's 50 plus exchanges covered you will see how this is exactly the same. And of course, this can also help you to compare companies uh, payout ratio or whatever metric that you like in this way where you have a list of companies. And then here you use the formula to be able to calculate in this case, the payout ratio, you drag this formula across for all the different companies. And as you can see, you will be able to get all the data for all these different companies. And of course, you can extend it to include many, many more. Now you know everything about the dividend payout ratio. So now it's time for you to be able to go out there, use this information, get some solid dividend stocks in your portfolio and reap the rewards over the long term. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on. So that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this. That's going to allow you to become a more successful stock market investor. I'll see you in the next one.